Я пытаюсь найти этот адрес, мне сказали получить посылку в 5 часов. Sorry, I don't speak very well English. What questions? Do you want to ask me questions? Yes. Uh, do you have a boyfriend? What? Do you have yeah, a boyfriend? I have a boyfriend. You have I a mean, not really. We're, we're just dating. What is that supposed to mean? My phone died. Is you guys mind it? Any of your phone? What's up, bro? Can we, I won't run away, bro. What's, damn, you guys. Chill out. I'm not going to do nothing to your phone. How, how do you unlock it? Huh? Right now? You're not to deal with police, are you? What do you think? Bro, yeah, Look, my, my boy got... 5 oh, he's here. It's that easy, bro. Why would you do that to yourself? You're a young man. You're with the police? Yeah. yeah hurry up, because the cops are coming and I'm using a stranger's phone. Oh, shit, undercover? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I think I got the wrong number. Oh, shit, they already got him. I'm sorry. You got a prop? Yeah. You wanna go somewhere with this? Yeah, who put the police? Johnny, do you know who this is? Mr. Vitali. I haven't heard of him in years, man. So, what, what, did, what is he? What, like, what's the synopsis of Vitali? Mark, this is a throwback to high, sc high school days, right? Eight years ago? High school, if not early college. And it was the era of YouTube prank channels. And you remember, there were a ton of them. I and loved I, watching them. And I think Vitaly was one of those OG YouTube prank channels. Aside from Sam Pepper and all these other guys, he was one of the ones, the one with the Lamborghini, picking up chicks, kissing, kissing them, making out on the spot. Yeah, yeah. like this prank, he, he would drive up to a girl in just a really nice car and he'd basically be trying to prove that women are gold diggers. And there's other versions of this where he drives up to them in some he even trash car. Yeah. yeah, he'll drive to them in some trash car and then loop around in like this nice car and then their first reaction will be to reject him and then their second reaction will be like, oh, I'm impressed, I'm gonna jump in. And then he'd be like, women are garbage. What's kind of crazy is that I think people back then were as cognizant about fake or scripted videos as they are now. And uh, people looking back, hindsight 2020, They'll see, damn, this, this this is all fake. But but at the time, it was kind of crazy. I remember me, maybe maybe it's my fault for being gullible back then, but I thought they were real. I thought that these videos were not scripted at all. And I mean, that's basically how it became popular. A lot of people believed what he did. Yeah, I mean, he look, look this video has 35 million views and he has 10 million subscribers. This was uploaded in 2014, so years ago, he was really popular doing all of these different pranks. He did stuff like this, a uh, Russian hitman where he'd pretend to have a bomb in this suitcase and he would leave it somewhere and he would like say something suspicious or just be suspicious. So he'd put oh, it like right sketch. in front of these, these cops hell, or whatever man. they are. Yeah. And then he's gotten arrested before, um, but then just like released because it was a prank. Yeah, it's just a prank, bro. <laughs> exactly. I, I think that's the idea of old YouTube, where there were all these people doing wild stunts on on the platform just to garner views. And unfortunately, people would see these types of videos and do them for real and then get wrecked. Um, yeah. Either, either get in trouble with the law or get in trouble with the locals. And uh, what's interesting for me is that and during that time uh -huh. of my life oh god seven eight years ago it was 2013 that, that's like eight years ago yeah mm -hmm. I, I i remember just feeling 
not self-conscious or not really confident in myself about me and getting girls or making friends self-esteem and then seeing Vitaly with Lambo and all these makeout videos it made me feel a certain way that oh like I, I'd have to live up to this type of expectation and I think a lot of people in the comment section were you know I, I recall the time we're, we're going on that route too like damn you know materialism See, yeah but and, and th girls this this is fake there's, there's no way hindsight 2020 yeah yeah no now especially with the, all the other YouTube pranksters this is cringe the sam pepper like the kiss there's tons of kissing prank channels they they also uh apparently would, would hire these girls would yeah tell them ahead of time that they were going to be part of some viral video oh god yeah that, that, i don't know what that is so but, oh yeah so these these girls are basically making out with this with this random guy because he's famous and he's paying them but um yeah I, I always, impression to young men you know yeah he's always been like the the trash prank channel like he, he's always been just the sort of like bottom of the barrel ratchet prank channel like there's way better prank channels like i don't know if you heard of jack vale i haven't heard of him ed bassmaster nah. mediocre films j stu studios those people they actually did funny pranks interesting that would i would get a big dopamine high because you know they're, they're out there being all social and and they're spiking people's emotions and they're providing value and comedy but he was always doing fake stuff like this and I don't know. It, it just comes off as, as just like ratchet. Yeah, and 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 I again, I think it left an impression on young men that they had to get to this type of standard in order to garner success with either making friends or success with women. But mm -hmm. lo and behold, years down the line, he's, his channel's gone downhill. And then all, all of the exposed videos saying that he would hire or rent out. Even, even the cars, too. He, people can say, yeah, you can rent out a Lamborghini for a day and just get a bunch of content out. Yeah. Film. You don't really have to own the Lambo. But I'm sure with his success, how he blew up, especially with him getting muscular and all that stuff, he that, that, that type of fame gets to your ego and your head and I, th I think i think we see it in his latest content especially with the with the latest thing that happened to him recently, yeah the, I, I was trying to arrest. find i was trying to find steroids because i know he's been on steroids he admitted it and i saw this video where he just looked huge and he was talking about how he did it but he didn't regret it or whatever but what happened recently is he was arrested for apparently taking shrooms and hitting yeah each he, other. He, he basically got high and <laughs> i don't know why i'm laughing at that it sucks and he assaulted a random woman oh no and this is what happened there he is on shrooms he has no idea what's going on and they're zip tying him i don't know why they have that and it's not normal handcuffs i don't know why the back of the van is all red like what's going on in there but is that even a real police officer yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, a crazy I'm, van, man. I've it, never seen that before. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is going on there, but that's in Florida, so who knows what, what's going on in Florida. But yeah, basically he says it was in Miami, and he he attacked a woman that was out for a jog, and it says here he pretends to pee and fart near unsuspecting people in public. I don't know. Like This is just what he's always been. He's always been this type of person like just doing the wrong things getting in trouble i feel that people the young, the young folk that were inspired by him that made their own prank channels i think they saw this as him being himself and not being afraid of what other people thought you, you can twist this in a motivational aspect that he overcame his fears and wasn't afraid to be himself but then there's an extreme right and there's diminishing returns you, you start acting all crazy and bugged to everyone that you meet and then you end up freaking getting arrested look at that you yep. take shrooms and you don't you don't know what the fuck's going on you, you you flip out and then you become dangerous to people nearby yep I don't know, he, he, like, I think the, the fame went to his head, and I think that he he's just this type of person, or he's, like, a rule breaker, he doesn't want to follow the rules, he just wants to do bad things, you know, do drugs, get drunk. He identified with that, Yeah, so that can become identity, like, all that success goes into your head, so it reinforces the previous behaviors. Oh, 
I became successful and viral and loved and, and adored because I was doing all these crazy videos, these wild <laughs> stunts, just being wacky and zany and out there. So I'm just going to reinforce that, you know, and then uh, to this day, like he still does and look at all the trouble he's getting into. And unfortunately, you know, people see, well, I, I say fortunately, people now see through the facade and his channel metrics have been going down. Oh, yeah. I think I think on his main channel, he I think he hasn't uploaded in like a year. His last yeah. his last video was about how he broke up with his girlfriend. I don't know if this bait. is. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if it's clickbait <laughs> or if it's true, but well, you see how he's all jacked because he's definitely been taking steroids. And, you know, we're in the modern day era of YouTube now, so I don't even see how I can't see the dislikes on this man. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I know. It's I so know. crazy because so I would I would picture oh, I would picture a ton of dislikes on this video, and now we can't really tell how how many people dislike this video. It's such a weird time on YouTube now. Yeah, that's a whole other topic. But yeah, he hasn't uploaded it since last year, March. March 29, 2020. Literally, the month of when the quarantine began. Isn't that crazy? He was chilling oh on the islands while everything was going ape shit. Yeah. For everybody else. Now, this is him. So it says here, he got arrested because, according to Miami Beach police, the victim was out for a leisurely jog when Vitaly, I don't know how to pronounce that, Zador Zvordetsky, suddenly jumped in front of her with open arms. As if to grab her, he then, according to police, tackled her to the ground, straddled her, punched her with a closed fist in the face and chest numerous times. I don't know what got, what happened. Two, here. two inch laceration above her right eye that required stitches. That's fucked. I don't know w what prompted this. If he was just so high, he just became like I don't know, crazy. Like he had rabies and just well, randomly attacked somebody. The thing with shrooms, <laughs> not not to get too personal because I've, I've taken them. What it does. Oh, is it, 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 it uh, depends on the strain too and then the type and the dose. I would assume that because he was acting this way, he, he was, he, he absolutely, I don't want to say ego death, but that limiter that you have in your brain to, to rationalize in your decision making, that went out the window and he viewed the world kind of like a sandbox, like a, like a, like Grand Theft Auto where everything outside is not real yeah. and then it, it makes you more likely to just act whatever the fuck you want like act however you want because you don't have that because when you're sober you know you're like oh like I'll, I'll have negative consequences if i go out and like do all these dumb things but when you're on you know substances like that you just don't give a fuck yeah and that could be for a positive but in this case absolute negative you literally hurt someone yeah and got arrested <laughs> He's, he's just been on a decline, and I don't know, even when he was at his peak, I always just looked at him as kind of a scummy guy. He just does just things that aren't, they aren't right, and they're annoying, and they, you know, they're damaging other people, and he's, he's a liar, he makes clickbait. Like, I don't know. It was senior year of high school where Vitaly was picking up, and I remember all my friends were like, holy shit. Like, the schools are gold digger, oh my god. But no, like, <laughs> the, the, he blew up, which is great, but I don't think he's, you know, developed his, his, his character. Right? And unfortunately, yeah, getting into trouble in a downhill channel. I'm, I'm questioning what the next five years of his life will be. He, like, will he become one of those, like, Z list celebrities that continue to ride their nostalgia? Like, I was once this great. You know, and then, and then just, just reminiscing on the old days. Like, nah, you gotta reinvent yourself, man. You can't just rely on your old past success and highs. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if he's gonna mature and come out of it better or if he's gonna go downhill and decline. Because you, you've seen it. Celebrities People, are like that, though. Like, he, some of them go dumb downhill off the rail. Yeah, like, it, like, a lot of times when you have success, you have all this money, but then you start going downhill, you, you can't take it, like, your ego can't take it, and then you go down like this, you know, let's just say you become addicted to drugs or whatever, and then, like, it could lead to your death. So, <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen with him, but hopefully he doesn't continue to be a scumbag. I think this is an interesting take on old school YouTube, where in modern day YouTube, the content is, this type of content 
game isn't promoted nowadays. And I don't, I don't even think this type of content is sustainable. It's entertaining for sure. To yeah, this, a certain extent. It died. This era died. This era of pranking and stunts. The problem is it got more and more extreme because then people started getting desensitized to all the types of stunts. So then you got to up the, the type of stunt. And that's where the other prank channels got into a lot of trouble. Yeah. This was like the foundation, I believe. The, yeah. the OG prank channel mm -hmm. started it all. 20, 2015, 2016 days. And then, and then we got Ethan Gila and everybody else commentating and critiquing and roasting them. A fucking good time. You know? he He's the type that... He's like the definition of, of the meme Sigma male. But you can just take everything he's done in these videos and just put the Sigma male theme song to it. Because it, it's just, he does all the wrong yeah, things, but they're so... Irony. Yeah, they're so out of the ordinary, but they're like he doesn't care about anything. He's just the definition of, of a Sigma male. Well, it's funny because Sigma male can be... Twi well, Sigma male, when, it, when, that, when that word first came out, it was taken very seriously, where people were tired of the alpha-beta dichotomy, that all oh, you're alpha, you're beta. And then a Sigma is someone that breaks the system that is beyond you know the the traditional alpha beta that they're their own lone wolf and thing and they feel special and unique but really it's just another rebranded alpha yeah and i think uh it has some parallels to like girls and their zodiac signs and all that stuff like for men like oh my god i'm a sigma so then it started becoming a meme with the music yeah and bully mcguire so now you can view sigma ironically and yeah by tally like <laughs> would be <laughs> part of part of those cringe memes yeah uh well, yeah just look at him I'm, I'm glad this era is done yeah because it's dangerous the, the more uh, and then other impressionable young people that don't know how scripted or fake these videos are they'll try these things in real life and they'll get shot and then there were all sorts of like prank or like stunt channels there was one it was an old you can search this up uh youtubers get a shoot a textbook Oh, I've seen that. Like yeah, some guy the girl covered, covered, killed. The, yeah, the girl killed his boyfriend because the girl thought. I mean, the guy thought the textbook would would protect him. I think it was, was just that John, a desert eagle. Yeah, 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 it was a desert a eagle. A fucking forty-five cal, fifty cal round. So just just me? for just for views and to be, you know, cool and funny, she literally just shot and killed her boyfriend. Like that is. Horrible. I think people will do anything for fame these days because it comes down to fulfilling your ego and self-esteem and self-worth through external validation. You, you 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 get so many likes. You get it blown up in your comment section. You have your channel metrics. <laughs> That's why you need ego death and you need Eckhart Tolle. Well, you gotta you gotta you gotta chill the fuck out and not be so dependent on those things. To, to no. fulfill your self worth, like oh, like my self worth is based on how viral I am and all the likes that I get, and I think that's a never ending rat race to continue one upping yourself in an unsustainable manner. Like how 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 much attention will be enough? Like nothing's never enough because mm -hmm. we we can get something like oh my god I want a thousand likes now you get a thousand likes and it's not and then 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 you move on like we always want the next thing and then that's what. The, this type of content kind of did for the young folk it just made them chase these unsustainable highs yeah. the content kept getting more extreme and extreme and then well yeah it crashed like this trend died you can't keep this up anymore these days well oh, i am glad game change yeah <laughs> yeah i do not want this this era to come back i hope it doesn't come back and I, can, does, I can see it coming back if it does I, then please be real pranks and, and stuff that has some class yeah, not not this. Rat. 